Yo, what's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. Now, this glitch is a gift cards to friends glitch, all right? And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I did not have fun making this footage, all right? Or getting this footage, I should say. Uh, first of all, let me shout out the founders, you know, because people take their time to make these glitches. So, the this gift cards to friends glitch was found by Killer Gaming, Celestial Gaming, and Obese Giraffe. And uh, the method we're using here is actually for Xbox users and for PlayStation, which is why I waited so long to upload this because I wanted an Xbox version for you guys. And that's where I'm doing this. And we're using Freight Train What the Fudge method uh, to go ahead and get this going on Xbox. So what you're going to need is you do need a friend, obviously. It's a gift card to friends. Your friend needs to have an Avenger and it needs to be stored in his facility. In his Avenger, what he wants is a weaponized vehicle like the Deluxo or something like that in the Avenger. What you need is a facility as well. Make sure it's full and make sure you have a vehicle in there you want to overwrite. You need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage. Vehicle inside doesn't really matter. I had one in mine. Uh, and then obviously the car you want to receive. Go ahead and throw yourself in an invite only session or a friend session. Should work in both. Uh, my friend Law says a friends only session might actually work better. So that's pretty much all the requirements uh, and your friend also it could, it's definitely beneficial if your friend has a phantom wedge or like a ramp buggy because he's gonna have to push you over on your uh, on the top of your car on the roof of your car basically so there's a lot of requirements for this now there's no timing like no targeting mode no anything like that there is one little timing part that I thought would have been easy but it actually took me the longest just to hit that part the rest of the the steps are super simple but there's a step that just really irks me, all right? And it took me forever to get this footage, which is why I didn't get it on both sides. So this is just the person receiving the car. So my friend is in his Deluxo, in his Avenger. As you can see, he just sent me an invite inside of his Avenger. Remember, it's in his facility. So uh, right now, this is my friend's Avenger. He's sitting in his Deluxo, and he is off of the, you know, the, the mechanics menu or whatever. You want him to be off of that. So what we're gonna do is walk to the back to hover over Exit Avenger, go to Playlist, and go to Rock, uh, Rockstar Playlist right here. And once you're hovering over that first one, just spam A or X, okay? Just keep spamming it. Now, once you spam it, you should end up on this black loading screen. It's not infinite, you will actually end up at Mount Chiliad, all right? These are the simple steps. There was actually uh, steps, you know, with the recent activity when this first came out on PlayStation, which is why I didn't wanna upload it because the Xbox guys wouldn't be able to do it. The timing would have been terrible if we were using that same method as before. So this method's much better. So as you can see right here, I spawned over at Mount Chiliad. Once you've spawned over at Mount Chiliad, have your friend send you another invite immediately to his Avenger once again, okay? You're gonna go ahead and open up your phone and just accept that invite, all right? So once you've accepted that invite, wait for this loading to go away and you will end up inside of his Avenger. Now remember, you want your friend who's in his Deluxo to be off of that mechanics, uh, you know, the workshop menu. So just hit, you know, exit the uh, the workshop and he'll just have that right D-pad option uh, in the top left. All right. That's all he's going to have. So as you can see right here, my friend is set up. I've done all those little parts. He's remember, he's helping me. I'm the one getting the car. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop into his Deluxo. And like I said, no timing, no trickiness on here. He's simply just going to tap right trigger or R2 and drive out. Okay. So that's what he just did. He just tapped R2 or right trigger and drove out. What's going to happen to him is he's going to end up in his facility. Okay. He's just going to end up in one of the parking spots in his facility. And he's just going to simply get out of the car. Okay. You will end up on an infinite black loading screen. Once he is in his facility, he's going to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job for you. All right because you're stuck right now. You're stuck in this infinite black loading screen. So once he starts up a Titan, you know, ha you know, you can join him through the uh, through the dashboard. On Xbox, I actually got an automatic alert. If you don't get an automatic alert, you're still good, but have him back out of the job. Once he's backed out of the job, go ahead and just span through these alerts, all right? No timing on this. You'll get an unable to connect. You just want him to be out of the job and you to accept the alerts, just like that. And there you go. You should spawn over at Mount Chiliad. All right, now go ahead and sign in as a CEO and call up your buzzard and you wanna fly over there. Make sure you do not jump into any street cars right now. That's very important. Don't jump into any sort of vehicles, you know, four wheel vehicles or anything like that. Okay, the, the vehicles that can potentially go into your facility. You don't wanna drive into any of those, all right? So once we're at that point, as you can see right here, we're flying over to the facility. And once I'm close by, I'm gonna go ahead and request my MOC. All right, so I'm going to open up my interaction menu, go to Mobile Operations Center and request it. 
All right, so I know it spawns around over here, so I'm just going to kind of wait, point my camera angle the other way, and then boom. All right, there it is. So once I'm over here, I'm going to grab my MOC, and I'm going to simply drive my MOC over to the facility. Now, remember, you can have a vehicle in here if you want. I had a vehicle in mine. Uh, I know that Obese had a vehicle in his when he did his video, and, you know, it worked out for him. But everything is simple. All the steps are easy. This is where it just gets tricky all right it's it's just random from what i've heard how it works i'll i'll show you how i got it to work finally and i didn't even expect it to work i was honestly about to just give up on this glitch and say screw it you know tell people on twitter that you know wouldn't even worth it but i wanted to post it for you guys so you can make your own educated decision all right so what you want to do is grab your moc and go to your facility and park it so that the blue circle is still visible and if you were to go drive a vehicle into your moc you would still be on top of the facility okay you're gonna see why so this is a pretty good positioning right here a lot of people have used this if you can get it more onto the facility with the blue circle you can go ahead and do that too either one will work okay you just need to be able to get the right d-pad option and still be on the facility so once you've done that my friend has already exited out of his you know out of his facility out of the avenger and as you can see right there he's in a phantom wedge that's what is he that's what he's going to use to push me over when the time comes okay he can also have a ramp buggy that also really helps too but he's ready to go what i'm going to do now is actually go grab a street car now make sure make sure that you open up your interaction menu before you hop into the street car and I recommend getting a streetcar that's not very top heavy, nothing like an SUV or a truck or anything like that. You want to grab like a low streetcar, okay? Something, you know, sporty looking, you know, just something like that. Like this one right here, I tried with this just for the hell of it. Open up my interaction menu, go, went ahead and hopped in. And wouldn't you know it, it's a Simeon vehicle, so I got two stars right away. I had some, you know, some rednecks out here in Blaine County trying to kill me and stuff. So there was a lot going on. But I just wanted to go ahead and try it with this. Now... I got the cops off me and stuff like that. Keep your interaction menu open the entire time, okay? And what you're gonna do is go over your facility. And once you're over your facility, and I'm gonna have the, you know, the volume up for this, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be closing it, so pressing B or circle, and then spamming right D-pad. What should happen is, what you want to happen is, you wanna be able to hit right D-pad to enter the MOC, but you're not actually gonna enter. You're just gonna hear the sound cut out and what's going to happen is you're going to have the full alert from the facility pop up that's why we're over the facility and that's why we have the interaction menu open if we had if we didn't have the interaction menu open over there in the street we would have had the facility full alert right away and we couldn't get off of it okay so check it out this is what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and close the interaction menu by pressing b and spam right d-pad so i can still hear what's happening outside if you can still hear sound behind this uh, facility full alert you didn't hit it all you got to do is hit the PS dashboard button or the Xbox dashboard button, close it, and then open up your interaction menu right away, back up, and then, you know, wait about 10 seconds because that facility full alert is ready to pop up once again. So I'm going to try it again right here. And I, I cut out a lot, but guys, I tried this for a long time. So press B or circle, spam right D-pad. I can still hear noise in the background. That's how you know that you're not fully glitched out. Just open up your dashboard and then open up interaction menu and back up and try again, okay? So just dashboard every time when you're on the facility full alert and you still hear sound, and then you can reset up to do the glitch or reset up to get glitched out at that point. So as you can see right here, it's nighttime, guys. It took me forever to do this, all right? And I actually changed about three vehicles, no lie, to try to get this to work. Now, I don't know if this got it to work or not, but I drove pretty far away from the facility. Remember, with your interaction menu open, you must have the, the menu open when you're driving a streetcar. The second I close this, whether I'm on the facility or not, I'm going to get the facility full alert. You don't want that, okay? So, as you can see right here, I found a low streetcar, okay? And this low streetcar right here, I was just hoping that it would work. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it with my interaction menu still up. And I'm going to go ahead and drive over to the facility. And now I left all this part uncut to show you literally what I had to do to finally go ahead and get this to work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over to the facility. And maybe it was the fact that I went super far away. But after about 30 to 40 minutes, no lie, of trying to hit this literally this one little step. I finally got it to work on this attempt first freaking try okay so check it out I'm gonna park like this close the interaction menu and spam right d-pad boom you hear that no sound whatsoever I finally freaking hit it it took me forever but I finally got it so now at this point remember how I said your friend wants to have a phantom wedge or a ramp buggy 
What your friend's going to do now is your friend's actually going to go ahead and push you onto your roof, okay? He's going to just hit you with, you know, the ramp buggy or the phantom wedge, and he wants you to end up on your roof, all right? And I'm leaving this uncut, too, to show you how long it, it took, you know, my friend to get this going as well. But you want to be on your roof and you want to be off of the facility. And I'd say at least 20 feet, you know, or more away from the facility will do, okay? And once you're on the once you're on your roof, that's when you can go ahead and accept the alert, okay? You know, and then you won't get sucked into the uh, facility or anything like that. But guys, that part with you know spamming right D pad and not getting sound in the background took me forever. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely took me around 40 minutes just to get that, which is why I just wanted to get the footage on one side and that was it, the most important side, which is this one. Okay, so yeah, that's all my friend is doing right now, just basically getting that going. Once he tells me, hey, you're on your roof, you're good to go, and you're away from the facility, accept that alert. I accepted it. Now what's happening is I'm actually sliding out of the car, and then the car goes invisible. That's what your friend is seeing right now. Tell your friend to simply shoot you in the head and take you out. That's pretty much it. So once he does that, you're going to hear this noise. There you go. That's the wasted noise right there that you just got wasted. And you're going to end up spawning on your feet. Uh, anywhere around, you know, around the facility, basically. So you're going to see me spawn in really soon. And there we go. So I've spawned in. Now I'm just fast forwarding because my friend is going to is going to go ahead and call up the car that I want. So you had to do all of that literally just to get one vehicle. So you got to make sure you got a good friend willing to help you out. So my friend right now is just calling up anything. I just want to get this glitch over with, to be honest with you. So he called up this car. All I got to do is go ahead and hop into it. I'm going to get the full alert right away, except the full alert. Once you accept the full alert, you will spawn inside of your facility. Just like that, guys. Okay, so I'm just fast forwarding through this loading screen and you're going to see me spawn into the facility. Now with the vehicle selection menu up, remember I said you want a vehicle in there to replace over. I have a Sanchez right there. I went ahead and replaced over the Sanchez. There you go. Okay, remember, these vehicles, when you drive them out, they're bricked. So to get them to, to be able to drive them again, you either want to swap to your second character and then back to your first or close app and then restart app and you'll have access to the vehicles to be able to drive them. So that's the glitch guys. Honestly, I don't like this one. I'm probably never going to do it again. It's a pain, but I wanted to inform you guys on how to do it with this Xbox method that also works on PlayStation. So try it out. Let me know what you think, but I personally do not like this glitch. Still shout out to the founders, man, for finding it because I know it takes a while to do that, but that's just my opinion. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. My name's Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out.